Greetings to all my tech heads out there in the Kev Techify Nation. And if you're new here, welcome. In this episode, we're going to look at the ASA 5506X with Firepower Services. We'll be discussing an overview of that ASA 5506X, ASA security levels, and ASA 5506X deployment scenarios. This episode is part of my series on network security. I'm Kevin here at Kev Techify. Let's get this adventure started. The Cisco ASA 5506 delivers a high-performance firewall, SSL VPN, IPsec VPN, and rich networking services and a modular plug-and-play appliance. The default DRAM memory is 4 gigabytes. The default internal flash memory is 8 gigabytes. In a failover configuration, the two units must be identical models with the same hardware configuration, the same number and types of interfaces, and the same amount of RAM. Failover is available with the Security Plus license. This here is an ASA 5506X. As you can see on the front, there is not a lot to see besides the name and model number. Here's the back panel of a Cisco ASA 5506X. First thing we can see over here is the 12 volt power connector. Notice it's not a standard 12 volt connector. You should Keep track of the one you get with this because you need that special adapter. It's a four pin square. Second thing we have right here is our status lights. We have different status lights. First one here is for power. That's gonna indicate that our 12 volt supply is giving us a power. Status, depending upon the color and the blinkiness of that, will let you know different things about the status of your device. We have the active light. And then we also can show you if Wi-Fi is active. Notice that it's only on Wi-Fi models only, so you got to buy, you have to buy an upgraded model to have that Wi-Fi. Next, we have eight gigabit ports. So we have our eight gigabit ports. The L here on the left side that indicates the link status. The S on the right side of the port that indicates the connection speed. Once again, these are gigabit ports where you can define different zones for each of these ports. Over here, we have our management interface. Once again, we have our link status and our speed. And this is a gigabit ethernet management and it's only used for management. You can't set it up as a zone. We have a USB port. This is a type A connection. And this is for like an external storage device. Down here, we have our console port and it's either in a normal rj45 or they have mini usb so both of these right here are console ports then we have also our reset pin when pressed for three seconds so you got to press it for three seconds the asa resets to the default new state on reboot in the flash is erased so it it basically effects effectively wipes your device turn returns it back to factory settings if you hold it in for three seconds this picture shows the inside components for the Cisco ASA 5506X. Unlike the ASA 5505, this ASA 5506X does not use switch ports. All interfaces are routed and require IP addresses. Back here, you can notice we have a 50 gigabyte solid state drive. Up here, this little chip right here, this is a crypto accelerated CPU, so it does it's designed to do encryption. Over here, we have this chip. This is a multi-core 1.25 gigahertz CPU. And over here, we have our four gigabytes of RAM. As we are looking at the inside of this ASA 5506X, you can see that it kind of does look like a PC. And actually, that's what this is. This is a PC, a very customized PC. It's got the motherboard. It has RAM and it has different chips and modules. It has storage on it. It's a highly customized computer. I hope you're enjoying this episode on the ASA 5506X with Firepower Services. If you have the time, please leave a comment and let me know what you think about the ASA 5506X. You can also visit my website at kevtechify.com for all of my details and how to get these episodes in video and podcast form. Security levels define the level of trustworthiness of an interface. 
each operational interface must have a name and a security level from zero being the lowest to 100 being the highest and you have to assign that to each interface level 100 should be assigned to the most secure network such as our inside network and if we notice down here our inside network we gave the interface name of inside and we gave it the highest possible level because it's on the inside of our network it should be the most trusted we gave it the the highest possible of 100. The level zero can be assigned to the outside network. Right here we have the outside network. Once again, think about this as the wild, wild west of the internet here. And for that outside interface, the ones connected to the outside network, we give it an interface name, we give it something simple that we can remember as the outside network, and we give it the lowest possible, the least trustworthiness of all of our interfaces, we give it a zero. DMZs and other networks can be assigned a security level between 0 and 100. Most of the time, if you have the inside, outside, and a DMZ, most people take that third interface, they call it a DMZ, and they give it a security level of 50 right in the middle of, of the range of 0 to 100. Security levels help control many aspects of network traffic. And some of these aspects are network access, inspection engines, and application filters. So for our network access, by default, there's an implicit permit from any higher security interface to a lower security interface. Hosts on a higher security interface can access hosts on a lower security interface. Multiple interfaces can be assigned the same security level. If communication is enabled for the interfaces with the same security level, there is an implicit permit for traffic between these interfaces. Inspection engines. Some application inspection engines are dependent on security level. When interfaces have the same security level, the ASA inspects traffic in either direction. Application filtering. HTTPS and FTP filtering applies only for outbound connections that are from higher level to lower levels. If communication is enabled for interfaces with the same security level, traffic can be filtered in either direction. The ASA 5506X is commonly used as an edge security device. It connects a small business to an ISP service, such as a DSL or cable modem, for access to the internet. It can be, it can be deployed to interconnect and protect several workstations, network printers, and IP phones. In a small branch, a common deployment would include an inside network, which we typically label like VLAN 1, with a security level of 100, the most trustworthy. And then we can set up an outside network, VLAN 2, with a security level of zero, the least trustworthy. In a small business, the ASA 5506X can be deployed with two different protected network segments. One segment is the inside network, VLAN 1, which contains workstations and IP phones. The other segment is the DMZ. We could label that typically as VLAN 3, which connects a company web server. The outside interface, VLAN 2, is used to connect to the internet. So we set up VLAN 1 as the inside, VLAN 2 is the outside, VLAN 3 is the DMZ. We assign our trustworthiness scores. So VLAN 1, our inside, would have a score of 100. The outside, VLAN 2, would have a trustworthiness of 0. And then the DMZ needs to go somewhere in be between. Traditionally, it is set up with a score of 50 on our trustworthiness scale. In an enterprise deployment, the ASA 5506X can be used by telecommuters and home users to connect to a centralized location using a VPN. Review for episode 20, Introduction to the ASA. The choice of ASA model depends on the organization's requirement, such as maximum throughput, maxim maximum connections per second, and budget. When discussing networks connected to a firewall, terms to consider include the outside network, the inside network, and the DMZ. There are two firewall interface modes of operation available on the ASA devices, routed mode and transparent mode. Advanced ASA firewall features include ASA virtualization, high availability with failover, identity firewall, and threat control and containment services. Most ASA appliances come with pre-installed with either a base license or a security plus license. 
The Cisco ASA 5506X delivers a high-performance firewall, SSL VPN, IPsec VPN, and a rich networking services in one plug-and-play device. Security level numbers range from zero, which is untrustworthy, to 100, which is very trustworthy. The ASA 5506X is commonly used as an edge security device. It connects a small business to an ISP device, such as a DSL or cable modem, for access to the internet. It was my pleasure to provide you with this wonderful episode on the ASA 5506X with Firepower Services. If you like this episode and you got value out of it, please click that like button, give a five-star rating, leave a comment. This all helps me bring you more great content. Please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. All my socials and contact information are on my website, kevtechify.com. There you can find out how to get all these episodes in video and podcast form. In the upper right is my playlist for my series on network security for the CCNA. In the bottom right is one of my favorite videos that I linked just for you. Thank you so much for watching this episode of my series on network security for the CCNA. Once again, I'm Kevin. This is Kev Techify. I'll see you next time for another great adventure.